All right. So today we're going to be testing out the full virtualization capabilities of Komodo. Uh, a lot of people have been requesting that I do a test uh, on Komodo testing just the full, full virtualization. Similar to one of my previous videos that I uploaded that has tons of hits and people seem to have loved, um, the Komodo Sandbox Demonstration. I, I think that's what it's titled, or Sandbox Demonstration, something like that. Um, and it was just showing you how powerful the sandbox is and how well it actually works um, at protecting the system even without antivirus. So I'm kind of going to do a similar test here, but this time I guess I'll be narrating and then we'll do a few different things, I guess, too. Um, this time I am connected to the internet, as the last time I wasn't, so that'll make it a little more interesting and dynamic, dynamic of a test. We're going to also do web-based malware this time, too, through Internet Explorer in the fully virtualized sandbox. Um, and then I think, I don't think we're going to do much in the virtual desktop just because um, anything that's in there is really going to, it's the same as, the same sandbox as the um, full virtualization. That's all it utilizes. It's the same technology, just kind of different environment. So I'm not going to go into the, uh, to the virtual desktop at all. I'm just going to do everything fully virtualized and, and show you guys that. So um, what we'll do is we'll open up the fully virtualized Internet Explorer here. And you can tell something is fully virtualized by the fact that it's in a green border here. Um, you can turn this off. You can change the color. But um, I'm just going to leave it at default here. And that's how you can tell if something is fully virtualized. Uh, settings, I haven't changed except for the, uh, let's see here, except for the auto sandbox I set to fully virtualized because um, we're, we're really testing that here. Um, even though I'm going to run everything in fully virtualized, uh, before even auto sandbox were to kick in, it doesn't really matter. I just changed it um, just in case because that's what we're testing. I disabled the antivirus and firewall. I did leave on just because um, I, I guess it's going to be a little bit more secure that way and we're testing the full virtualization. So um, I guess I'll turn it off. It doesn't really make any sense why I leave it on. So um, yeah, so we disabled the firewall and we disabled the antivirus. HIPS is also disabled. So the only thing that is protecting this system right now is the automatic, or not the automatic, the fully virtualized sandbox. That is all that lies between a world of malware and this virtual machine. All right, so let's go ahead and start the test. What we're going to do first is we're going to head over to Malware Blacklist. Um, seem to have really good luck with them. So we're going to start out with that. Let me disable my web filter on my host machine here. So you don't have any problems with that. Web filter, there we go. Okay. Um, and we'll see if the internet connection is slow. We'll just uh, forget about doing this test and we'll go right into the malware pack. But what we're going to do is we're not going to run a scan. With that, we're just going to go ahead and just start running stuff um, out of it. We're not going to do any of that stuff. So. Let me disable smart screen before we continue because I realize that smart screen is going to get in the way. Download unsafe program, please. Uh, run anyways. Thank you. All right. So this one should be running. We'll just use task manager here to see what we got going here. And I do have Malwarebytes on here, so we are going to run a scan with Malwarebytes in order to see um, how much in the way of malware is in the system. Um, and I didn't put kill switch on here. I really should have, I guess. But I didn't do that. Actually, I do want to... Um, yeah, let, nope, I got rid of that. Damn it. Okay. Anyways, continuing the test, we'll just... Yeah, we'll continue on. Because I don't want to have to restart this whole system and clean it up again because I just did run a piece of malware. I don't want to turn my internet connection, my turn off my VPN I should say, to download kill switch because during with the VPN on it's going to be really slow. Okay, that was dead. That one's going to be dead too probably. It's funny, usually I have really good luck with the malware blacklist, but today I am not and that's the same as these up here so we're just going to Past those. Here's some zip malware. So that. Save to the desktop. Downloading. 
All right. Let's find that. And it didn't even save it to the desktop. Fascinating. As before it did. So it's interesting how they don't save it to the desktop anymore. Um, let me see. Let me try this one here. I'm going to try running it this time. See if I can open it up and it's dead. Let's try this one right here. I think I'm going to go over to Malcode quick. See if we can get anything else. That's just, I just didn't even copy that one. There we go. Alright, we got this one to go. Run. Run. It's a fake Adobe Flash player, it looks like. Um, yeah, this is definitely a fake Adobe Flash player. This should be perfect. Okay, downloading software. It crashed in Internet Explorer. See if we can open it back up. And we're trying to continue to test here. I assume it's going to shut it down again once the installation is finished, whatever it's downloading. It's obviously doing something in the background. Not seeing anything. There's a lot of SVC host processes there, but uh, I'm not going to go and figure out where those are all coming from. Some of them maybe. Okay, we got yahoo.exe. That is definitely a piece of malware right there. Everything else looks okay. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if one of these may be a piece of malware. But we wouldn't know for sure until we do a scan. Okay, um, continuing on the test here. Let's try this one right here. I don't think we did this one yet. Yeah. We can't pass it. Alright, let's have it over head over to Malcode here. Oops, tools. There we go. And then if Malco doesn't have anything, I'm not even going to bother with the malware domain list. They, they've really gone downhill. Partially because everybody goes to them and everybody knows about the malware domain list now. So, come on. Could be an exploit. Let's try this one right here. Something could have killed my internet too. Oh, okay, do you want to save? Yeah, we'll save it here. It doesn't look like it's. I suppose it'll open it maybe. System really is, is dogging down here. Something's really affecting it. So got yahoo.exe. Okay, open that too. Alright, let's try a different one here. Yeah, it's definitely doing something in the background here. Let's try a different link. Okay, it looks like we had a command prompt window just launch there and close itself. Uh, obviously, it's doing something to the system. And it appears maybe if I cannot even run executables anymore. I'll let it sit here a little bit, see what happens. Uh, what do we have? Okay, it looks like something has killed my desktop here. Partially, at least. Oh, wait, hold on. Never mind. I think it was just this was freezing up. It's quite interesting, though. Never seen something like that. Could be also a result of the sandbox doing uh, its work and not allowing it to completely take over the system here. See that. Let's try one more here, and I think we're going to call it quits then because something is obviously not, yeah. Something with Internet Explorer has gotten all hosed up. 
try and relaunch it. Maybe that'll work. Because obviously something is in there. Alright. Let's try this one more time. We'll pick this one right here. Yeah, so it's not going to let me do anything anymore. We're going to go ahead and extract the malware pack here. We're going to go ahead and run everything which is in this folder uh, within Komodo's fully virtualized sandbox. So we're going to right click and do a run in sandbox with a bunch of this stuff. We're just going to kind of randomly pick through here and, uh, and run some of this stuff see what it finds. Um, obviously the antivirus shouldn't detect anything so but we will see. Alright, run a sandbox. Well, we'll do this one too. And hopefully nothing will completely destroy. Okay, looks like we got something launching in an explorer here. I'm hoping we don't have to, I don't have to edit this video at all because that would be I really don't feel like editing tonight. <laughs> Hope it didn't break my EXE extensions yet. I have a feeling one of these is going to do that. Oh, a supposed bot here. Don't even know if that's what it is. Ooh, CBE form. Counter Strike. That exe sounds fun. Well, they're gonna do a downloader. I don't feel like waiting for things to download tonight. What's this? No, don't run. Run in sandbox. Okay. Now it's interesting. This does not have. Oh, it went away. Um. Oh no, it's right here. Okay. So you can see it still has a uh, window around it. Uh, yes. No. Yes, I can read whatever language that is. Yeah, let's run that one. I think Task Manager got killed. Well, looks like we can still run it. But there's obviously a bunch of malware on this system right here. Trojan.exe. Yeah, that sounds legit. Count documents. Again. It looks like some of this is repeats. Unfortunately. Oh, well, what's this? Oh, flash updater. We're on Google Chrome here. How's that? Sounds like a a winner. Aspersky. Oh, it keeps putting me at the top. That's what it's doing. Okay. So why? What is going on here? And I looked and I saw the scroll bar. Okay. Just keep running this stuff. Uh oh. What's going on here? Uh oh. No, oh, he's done that framework. And it put me back at the top again. Okay, I'll look at that important Word document here. Okay, it looks like maybe it is finally broken. Maybe it finally won't allow me to run anything else. Oh, no. Oh, still appears to be running stuff. Let me move this over here so we can see what's going on over here. Okay. Obviously, that's malware. We got that's malware. Whole bunch of stuff running here. Oh my gosh. This system is definitely infected now. Really infected. I don't know what that is. Okay, gotta read my another important document here. Gotta catch up on my scan report. 
server one Great, I ran that one. Let me try the top again. It's getting quite annoying. It's actually getting really annoying. I don't know if I ran that one or not. Hmm. Let's run these. These look like they're legit. Don't even know what they're going to do. But we're going to find out now, aren't we? <laughs> oh, come on. Keep doing that to me. Run and run. Alright. So, I'd say it's enough. Um... Okay, so obviously we're getting a lot of pop-ups here. And this system is heavily infected right now. So let's go ahead and pull up Malwarebytes. We're going to see what's on this system. If we can even run Malwarebytes, that is. And this system is so infected we may need to do, we may need to do a boot time scan. It looks like Malwarebytes is able to run. Let's quick do a scan before it changes its mind. And there's tons of things communicating with the internet right now. My internet activity light is going absolutely crazy. So, okay. So when this scan is finished, or if anything important happens, I will be back. All right, guys. Um, so it looks as if my system is well restarting now. Um, and Malwarebytes ended up dying, so I guess we're going to wait and see what happens here. Um, you obviously saw the system is heavily infected, so instead of, unfortunately, I'd like to see what's on the system, but I couldn't do a Malwarebyte scan, and obviously this test is going to be seeing how well Komodo can, the sandbox, can keep the system secure. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and proceed, wipe the sandbox, and then we're going to do a scan with... Um, with 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 some um, what is it uh, malware bytes? See what's left in the system. So as of right now, it says nothing is running in the sandbox, but we're going to make sure of that, and we're going to go ahead and wipe the sandbox. Uh, how we do that? We're going to go to tasks, sandbox tasks, reset sandbox, and erase changes. Then it says the sandbox has successfully reset. Click continue, and that's it. Sandbox should now be cleaned out. Any changes that were done to the system should now be gone. Um, you can also put the sandbox button on the quick access toolbar, by adding it, so you can see right there it is. You can then move it anywhere you want by just moving it around like that. You can delete things like like so by right clicking and clicking uh, remove from taskbar, and there you go, perfect. So um, we did reset the sandbox. We open up the task manager here. We should see nothing in the way of malware running. Everything in here should be a legitimate process, which it appears so. Just by restarting the computer, everything has basically reset back to the way it was. Um, we're going to re we're going to delete this folder if we can, which we should and we can. We're going to empty the recycle bin. It's out of there, and we're going to launch Malwarebytes if we can. There's Malwarebytes. We're going to do a quick scan. And when this scan is finished, I will be back. All right, so the uh, Malwarebytes has finished scanning, and the scan did not find anything. And just for the heck of it, I did a scan with Komodo, and it also, as predicted, did not find anything. Uh, this system is effectively 100% clean. Uh, there's almost no chance that anything slipped past because it was all fully virtualized. Now, I'm not saying that full virtualization is bulletproof, 
Um, there are known pieces of malware that can get past virtualization. Um, VMware had this incident a couple of years ago where a piece of malware is actually capable of escaping uh, their, their program and getting onto the host machine. Since then, they've, of course, patched this, but it is possible. Um, that just proved right there that it is possible. So this is why you want to have layered protection. Um, and Komodo does that very well, And as you can see. You don't even really need... This program is so powerful, as you've just witnessed, you don't even need the antivirus or the firewall to essentially protect your system. If you're surfing the Internet, all that you need to do is run... Internet Explorer in a fully virtualized environment such as the sandbox here and your system effectively will never get infected never get infected um, for the most part you know obviously like I stated earlier there are pieces of malware that could possibly get passed people have wrote, written them before but there's very few out there it's very rare and hopefully within the time period that they're discovered seeing they're so rare your antivirus would pick up on them before they would enter your system and cause you harm. That is why the antivirus is there. Um, so this is a very good program and Komodo performed very well on the full virtualization test. Wrapping this review up, uh, I can't complain about anything so far uh, about the full virtualization. It did a fantastic job at protecting the system and keeping everything in working order. So I hope this satisfies the uh, your need out there guys for a fully virtualized test. I know you enjoyed my last video so that's why I did another one. Uh, if you want me to do anything different, um, change things up, let me know and maybe I'll do a sequel to this one. If you really want to see the uh, virtual kiosk, or not the virtual kiosk, it's called the virtual desktop now I believe. Uh, if you really want to see that in action, maybe I can do a little sequel on that, uh, just showing you how that works and testing that out. But like I stated earlier in the video, that pretty much is the same the same technology that powers the virtual desktop is what I just tested here it's just the full virtualized fully virtualized sandbox that all that's all it is just in a different uh, GUI so that's it um, I'll upload this to YouTube and I'll hopefully have another video out sometime this weekend um, hopefully I have some time if I don't sorry you know this is kind of just a little hobby I do on the side so but I do try to get some videos out so that you guys uh, can be informed and make a decision on which antivirus products are best for you. So that's it. I will talk to you guys later.